Hi, welcome to Take 5, where we daily consider devotional thoughts from Oswald Chambers' book, My Utmost for His Highest. Today is October 31st. The title of today's devotional is The Trial of Faith. If you have faith as a mustard seed, nothing will be impossible for you, Matthew 17, verse 20. Many have the idea that God rewards us, rewards us for our faith, Dr. Chambers begins, and it may be so in the initial stages. This addresses the incorrect thinking of some who believe they are living by faith. If I do good stuff and don't do bad stuff, then God will reward my faithful behavior. Chambers continues, but we do not earn anything through faith. Faith brings us into the right relationship with God and gives him his opportunity to work. Faith is being brought into a right relationship with God, a relationship that stands strong no matter what the cost. He continues, yet God frequently has to knock the bottom out of your experience as his saint to get you in contact with himself. Many times things do not go as we plan, and with that, God is able to grab our attention. God wants you to understand that it is a life of faith, not a life of emotional enjoyment of his blessings. Faith is about being of use to God, not all the hyped up receiving from God. Chambers moves forward to compare stages of faith within the believer, saying, The beginning of your life of faith was very narrow and intense, centered around a small amount of experience that had as much emotion as faith in it and it was full of light and sweetness. This could be described as the honeymoon phase of our relationship with God. Then God withdrew his conscious blessings to teach you to walk by faith. This is when it is evidenced as to your true confidence in God, when it's not all about receiving from him. God simply being a gift giver is the only way some see him as being. Beyond that stage is when you find that you are worth much more to him now than you were in the days of conscious delight with your thrilling testimony. O.C. begins to speak about the faith of a mature Christian. Faith, by its very nature, must be tested and tried. And the real trial of faith is not that we find it difficult to trust God, but that God's character must be proven as trustworthy in our own minds. If God seems to not be what you had in mind, will you trust in how Scripture describes him? O.C. says faith being worked out into reality must experience times of unbroken isolation. Never confuse the trial of faith with the ordinary discipline of life because a great deal of what we call the trial of faith is the inevitable result of being alive. Faith in God is considerably more than only facing what everyone faces in life, what everyone else faces. My being a Christian will not exempt me from debt, hardships, disease, disappointment, and other such storms. Dr. C says that faith, as the Bible teaches it, is faith in God coming against everything that contradicts him. A faith that says, I will remain true to God's character, whatever he may do. Bible faith has to do with how we stand for God when others oppose him. Today, I read that the U.S. military operation that resulted in the death of ISIS leader Abu al-Baghdadi was dedicated to Kayla Mueller, a young Christian woman who was kidnapped, tortured, and murdered by the Islamic State. In a handwritten letter given to her parents by cellmates who were eventually freed, Mueller told her parents extensively about how in her captivity she relied on faith in God, saying, I remember mom always telling me that all in all in the end, the only one you really have is God. I have come to a place in experience where, in every sense of the word, I have surrendered myself to our creator because literally there is no else. Mueller continued, I pray each day that, if nothing else, you have felt a certain closeness and surrender to God as well. The CBN article quoted one of the hostages saying, Kayla was paraded in front of them and the prisoners were told she had converted to Islam, to which she boldly replied, no, I didn't. The released hostage who witnessed this said, I would not have had the guts to say that. It was very clear that all of us were impressed by the strength that she showed. Few who hear me today will have the opportunity to die for Christ, as did Kayla Mueller, but by like faith as hers, will you live for Jesus in this unbelieving world? 
How deep is your spiritual faith when challenged? Chambers closes with the highest and the greatest expression of faith in the Bible. In the whole Bible is, though he slay me, yet I will trust him. This is the truest testimony of biblical faith, the willingness to live and die in a holy manner before those who reject our Savior. Do not worry about what others think, as Paul wrote, for I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God on to every on to salvation to everyone who believes. Thanks for being here today. Now may God's grace and peace be ours as we seek to live our utmost for His highest. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye now.